Sergeant, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana, and today I'm going to show off a used 2021 Silver Land Cruiser here to Edition 2 row um, that we had a customer bring in from Massachusetts for us to do some odds on. So let's check it out. First off, I want to show you the Baja Squadron uh, fog lights that we did uh, that we put um, left and right of the actual uh, front license plate. Um, the customer wanted to maintain the OEM look of the car, so we left the original fog lights in its location, and then we added these Baja Squadrons right here. These are switched with the Switch Pro 9100, which I'll show off in a few minutes. Above the Squadrons, we have a rigid 30-inch Midnight Edition single row light bar in the grill. Uh, one of my favorite piece, parts about the Heritage Grill is that they make it so simple to modify so that you can cut right here and then um, make just do a little bit of body fill, a little bit of repainting, and then you have a perfect location to put a light bar of any of your choice. Any 30 inch size should fit in there as long as it's under two inches in height. And this one, of course, is. I'm gonna step into the car for just a minute. I'm gonna turn off the squadrons. I'm gonna turn on the 30 inch, uh, da um, excuse me, uh, midnight edition, and then I'm gonna flip it back off and then we'll check out the rear of the vehicle. So hang tight for a second. Actually, before we go to the back, let's check out under the hood real quick because we got some fun stuff going on here. So we have done some pre-wires. This uh, customer is planning on adding additional components at some point in the future. So underneath the hood here, we have a, a Group 35 uh, Full River uh, AGM auxiliary battery. Again, connected and isolated with a Red Arc uh, BCDC 1240D charger isolator. Um, we have uh, the SBI 200, which is going to uh, uh, let uh, the auxiliary battery jump start the lead acid crank battery on the right side. Um, and then, of course, we have a Switch Pro. These uh, additional breakers right here, fuses, are going to be used for future uh, accessories. As you can see, there's no wires that are plugged into them right now. Um, we have the Switch Pro located right over here on the firewall. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood, and I want to show you the rear of the vehicle. So follow me. Special guest with us today is Xavier Potter from the Ed Martin Toyota Finance Department holding the video camera. Thank you, Xavier. You're very welcome. Thank you guys for watching. All right. Power tailgate added in 2018. What we got here is a, uh, basically it's a two row uh, heritage edition. Not all heritages are two row in 2021. You actually can get, you could have gotten that third row uh, in a heritage edition just that one year. This is silver, um, so about 10% of all heritages built that year were in silver. Fun fact, um, because it has a two row, it does have an expandable uh, cargo cover, which doesn't have a lot of use in this case at all, but it's there. Uh, we have dual ARB drawers. We have the, um, the dual roller top on both sides. It's easy access to pull a fridge outward. Um, on these drawers, um, this particular setup is going to be configured for an animal configuration where a dog's gonna, the hunting dogs are, are going to hang out up here uh, during travels. So we've installed a couple um, uh, D-rings up here on the D-pillar. These D-rings are actually mounted uh, securely through a, um, a, a nut cert that we uh, attached behind this panel on the D-pillar. So these things should withstand several hundreds of pounds of weight uh, in the event that uh, that, that was necessary. Um, ARB drawers are really nice, this 11 inch configuration, because as you can see, if the uh, middle rows is folded down, you have a pretty much flat surface. So if you wanted to put an air mattress in here and sleep in the vehicle, you can do so with this particular drawer. And that's one thing that makes this drawer system pretty unique. Of course, it does lock as well, and it comes with a couple sets of keys. Um, while we're back here, um, we did do a couple modifications here. Um, we have a little ABS plastic panel here. We've added um, a USB uh, A and a USB C Kushmal port here, as well as another Kushmal for a double 2.4 amp USB A for additional power outlet for anything that you may need back here, as well as a 12 volt. Also, um, back here we have, uh, actually real quick before I move down to the, the tailgate lid, we have a little triple, triple uh, rocker switch. And this is used uh, for the, uh, the Wayland uh, red light uh, combo lights here back for your uh, drawer lights. Um, the, the placement of the switch is located right here on the side of the ARB drawer. We typically put it up here in this little center panel um, by the actual lights themselves. But the reason that we didn't in this case is because we didn't want the dog that's gonna be back here to accidentally bump it and turn it on while driving. So the placement of that 
uh, triple rocker switch is located right there. Um, so down here we have the um, the trail tailor um, tailgate locking uh, lid. Now this is one of my favorite modifications on Land Cruisers that we do. We do it a little differently than, than normal because we um, we do have these custom ABS uh, plastic pieces that we put um, on the caps just so nothing can get can get stuck back there. We also put a couple layers of Dynamat, uh, which is an asphalt tar based uh, heat applied padding for uh, additional uh, sound deadening as well as um, you know uh, weather or heat and cool um, insulation. And then also um, inside here we have um, a carpeted lid um, that we apply on here and if you want to just maybe slow pan around the fit and finish of the side so the viewers can check it out and if you have any questions please leave that in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and close this up real quick and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show off a couple additional things that we've done here. Um, on the uh, top of the spoiler, you're going to see a couple of different things. These are the uh, rigid uh, one by two inch scene lights. They are white. Uh, these are wired into the reverse. So, they, so um, they're additional uh, reverse light helpers, let's say. Uh, these come in black. Uh, we ended up um, basically removing the housing on this and then sending it to our body shop to get color matched in one F7 classic silver metallic Toyota paint. So that it blends in nicely with the actual spoiler itself and kind of makes it a little bit of a incognito factory look is what we go for on every build. Also in the middle here, uh, right underneath of the reverse light, we have another, an additional backup camera. Uh, we did not relocate or replace the backup camera that Toyota puts uh, down here anyway. Um, we just wanted to have an additional one in case there's, a, uh, in this case, the dog case or kennel may be inside the vehicle, may be hard to see out. Um, so we want to have a different viewpoint from a top. Um, and also um, you can use this while driving uh, while on the factory reverse uh, camera can only be done while you're actually in reverse. So um, we're going to sit in the car real quick. We're going to uh, start in the middle row, show a couple of USB ports. We'll move into the front row and then I'll show you how you can see that camera in a second. So let's hop in the middle row. Hop in the middle row there, Xavier. So down here we have the additional Kushmal USB-A, USB-C ports in the bottom right underneath of the uh, rear zone climate control. Uh, one thing that some people don't know is that the Land Cruiser does have heated rear seats, not ventilated, but heated rear seats, and it has four zone climate control. And to my knowledge, it's the only Toyota um, ever made that has uh, four zones of climate control. Uh, lots of them have three zones, but not four necessarily. So that's just a fact to throw in there for you too. Let's go ahead and hop in the front and talk about some more stuff. guys so back on the inside of the vehicle we'll go and shut the door so we don't have any random beeping um, we have I'm gonna throw the car into reverse and then you'll notice that we have the additional backup camera this is the one that's on top up by the uh, spoiler okay and then we also have um, the of course the normal backup camera which only works when the car is in reverse. So up here we have um, an escort radar detector, uh, not legal in every state. Um, so what we have done besides just having a nice clean hardwire look is we have, we do have an actual hard power off button here. So if you're in a state that doesn't necessarily like those, you can press this button right there and then it kills the power to it. And then there's not gonna be sending out any kind of uh, unwanted uh, radar signal. So down here, we also, besides having the, the hardwire for the power on the escort, we also have the mute function uh, functionality of the Escort as well, and a place marker for the smartphone integration. A couple extra USB ports. We have a USB-C and a USB-A down here as well. And then over here to the right of the driver's knee is a couple more USB-A and USB-C ports as well. So plenty of extra um, charging capabilities in this vehicle. Up here in the sunglasses holder, we have um, a Switch Pro 9100. Um, we have a couple different things that we've done here. We obviously have the 30 inch light bar in the grill. We have the Baja squadrons to the left and the right of the front license plate. We have uh, rock lights here, and then we have a pre-wire for the left and right scene lights, which the owner does not have uh, currently, but wants the ability to have that done without having to bring it back here. Um, and then there's a little picture of a battery, which says auxiliary on it. 
and that is going to link the um, the, Re the Red Arc uh, SB um, 12 SBI 12 to the auxiliary or to the crank battery, so that you can charge the crank or you can jumpstart the crank battery with the auxiliary battery. Two more blanks here available for future use, and that's pretty much it on this one. It was a pleasure working on it. If you guys have any um, questions, please uh, ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching the channel. Please hit thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, and have a great day.